Well, good afternoon, everybody. Um, welcome along. This is a hands-on uh, comparison between uh, Blackmagic Designs Speed Editor and uh, the Stream Deck, which is made by El Gato. And it's the um, Jog Wheel, and in the Stream Deck's case, it's the Jog Knob, <laughs> shall we call it that. It's not really a wheel, but uh, as you can see from the uh, insert I've just put up, there are three main parts to this well-known jog wheel design, which is the jog, the scroll, and the shuttle. Now we're going to go into each one of those with a bit more in-depth detail. And hopefully by the end, if I've done my job right, you'll have a better understanding of the differences between Blackmagic and Elgato's version of the Stream Deck. So without further ado, let's get on with the first section. Now, we just pulled up the jog wheel, and as you can see, in the middle it says 30 frames. And at the bottom on the timeline, it's showing you a very accurate 30 frames. So, what does this mean? Well, it means simply that from one single frame up to 30 frames, this is the most accurate setting for the jog wheel while you're editing. So, anything between one frame up to 30 frames, the accuracy is there completely. Higher than that, you're going to need the scroll wheel. And what this will allow you to do is move a bit quicker between scenes. So up to 30 seconds in, in blocks. Uh, but a lot of people just spin it around and you'll find that those 30 seconds soon become uh, chunks in chains of 30 seconds. So uh, a bit more faster, but not as fast as the shuttle. So here we go. This is the fastest way of uh, getting up and down the timeline. You can go 2 times, 8 times, 16, 32, even up to 64 times the speed of uh, your single frames. So if you're getting back and two along the timeline, this is the option to choose, the shuttle. And when you arrive where you need to be, you simply go back to jog and carry on with the fine tune setting. So this is the jog, the scroll and the shuttle. Let's compare. So here we go, the moment everyone's been waiting for. Uh, as you can see, I'm moving up and down the, the actual timeline with my uh, normal jog wheel selected on the Black Magic. Uh, I'll now go over to the Elgato Stream Deck and choose the profile. And if you look at the jog on this one, you notice it's moving a lot slower. In fact, it's actually moving frame by frame uh, the jog wheel is designed that way in this profile because it needs to give you that frame by frame control which is accurate and and you're going to need that but unfortunately the jog cannot be speeded up in any way you have to move towards the scroll uh, to then start moving along a bit like the black magic one but that's unfortunately now a bit chunkier than the black magic one as you can see it's moving along in bigger chunks in the scroll setting so it's a big compromise between the two but going back to black magic you can see how smooth and buttery smooth it goes up and down the timeline in a much more normal feedback for you as a person um, it just makes more sense this one unfortunately <laughs> I, I couldn't control it in any way smooth enough apart from when I went to frame by frame and I then could do what I needed to do one frame at a time, which is the accuracy that you're going to need. And for that purpose, it's fine. And I noticed the notch is very useful uh, to find your frame. So that is a nice point for the Elgato stream deck there. But I still, for my money, prefer a weighted jog wheel, which is on the Black Magic design. Anyway. That's uh, the first feedback of the uh, speed editor, which is the most important part, I feel, of the, um, the the actual comparison. So just to give you that much more of a, an awareness as to how they both perform, uh, so you can make your own minds up uh, as to which you prefer yourself. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, I will be doing some more comparisons for the Speed Deck and the Elgato Stream Deck, as well as some um, colour comparisons with the colouring stuff. So stay tuned for that one, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.